it is the most wonderful time of the year to be a hunter. Thousands of people are gearing up to head to deer camp. Our Emily Byer joins us live in Green Bay. Good morning, Brooke. We are here at the East Side Fleet Farm. They have coined Orange Friday. You can see that line coming in here behind me, that long line of people getting ready to get their last minute items before they head out for the hunt. I'm joined by the corporate hunting manager with Fleet Farm, Brad Holtz. Tell us a little bit more about Orange Friday. Well, Orange Friday is a long honored tradition here at Fleet Farm. We've been doing this for a lot of years. Our customers come to expect the service from Fleet Farm. So they come in not only for the hats, but for their last minute shopping goods. Um, everything they need from the hunt, you know, from soup to nuts to orange to you got it. You can come to Fleet Farm and get that. Sure. And you were telling me that there's there's a couple a couple little things that you don't want to forget when you're heading out. I know we were talking to a lot of people that are planning on hunting this weekend, and they were telling me hand warmers. What are some other uh, tips or tricks that you can think of that you'd like to share with people? Yep. This year, with all the moisture, you want to make sure you have dry boots, socks. That's all good stuff. You might want a rain poncho. I mean, we're supposed to be dry through Tuesday, but you just never know. Um, always keep that blaze orange, you know, present. You want to make sure you're visible out there, safety first. Um, you know, don't forget your knives. Most importantly, your license. Got to have that when you're out there in the field, so you don't want to be caught out there without that. So just bottom line is be safe out there on that hunt. Absolutely, and you were telling me you're a hunter yourself. What is sure. it about hunting, especially in northeast Wisconsin, that that is so special for people? Um, for me, it's a deep honor tradition of hanging out with the family, going up north, getting together with everyone, and just enjoying the camaraderie of the hunt. Um, if we happen to get it here, that's a plus. Um, sure. We're doing our best out there, and I know the DNR is as well. Um, so we're going to continue to do this as long as we possibly can. And we spoke with a lot of people in line that kind of had that same feeling, that tradition. They love being able to do this, and they've made this a tradition. Every Friday before opening Gun Deer Hunt, they come to Fleet Farm to get the orange hat. They get any last-minute things that they need. What is it like to hear that the, now this is part of their tradition as well? Yeah, it's a lot of pride. When you work for this company, you just feel proud to be part of this organization and part of the camaraderie in the state of Wisconsin with the hunters. We're all brothers and sisters out there, and it's a great time-honored tradition. Absolutely. Thank you so much, Brad. So again, a lot of people, they're rushing into the store to grab their last minute items before they head out bright and early. Tomorrow, we obviously wish them the very best of luck and be safe. For now, reporting live in Green Bay, Emily Byer, NBC 26.